Welcome to the Arduino Manager tutorial number 3. I'm going to show you how to use the display widget and the push button widget without writing any code, using the code generator and the pin code generator. At the end I'm going to control Arduino Manager by means of my voice. Let's get started. First we have to build the circuit for this project. You can find the circuit diagram at the breadboard diagram at the link below. This simple project uses Bluetooth to communicate. It measures temperature using a TMP36 analog sensor connected to the Arduino analog input to 80. It also controls an LED connected to the digital pin number 7. To add widgets, we have to switch to edit mode. Then we double tap on a free position and we choose display widget that we call T. In the same way we add a push button widget called light. Zoom in the widget and then tapping on configure we can change the button color. We are now ready to generate the Arduino code. And then we select the UNO board, which is the board that we are using in this project. Eventually we select the Bluetooth connection type and we are good to go. Now we have to set the pin used by each widget. The T-Display widget is going to use the analog pin 80. And we need to add an input preprocess function to convert voltage at the LM36 pin to temperature following the LM36 specifications. The light push button widget uses a digital pin instead, and we choose pin number 7. We need that pin 7 is high when admin is powered on, and that pressing the button, pin 7 is brought low. Now the code is generated, then we can quickly check it, tapping on Preview Generate Code. To download the code, we need to tap on Download Generate Code and follow the provided instructions. We now copy the generated code and pass it to a new Arduino IDE project. We enter the appropriate conversion code in order to get the right temperature from the measured voltage at the TMP36 output pin. Now we are ready to compile the Arduino project and upload it to the board. Please double check that you have selected the right board from Menu, Tools, Board. Back to the iPad we have to create a connection to the board. It's very easy because we just need to scan for Bluetooth device. This is the app in action. Now let's try some voice commands. All the supported voice commands are listed into the documentation. Light push. Light push accepted. Light press. Light press accepted. Light release. Light release accepted. T status. T20 for void 60. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.